Hello and welcome back to SciTi Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple Bluetooth music speaker box that uses only a few simple parts. Let's get started. And these are the items you're going to need and don't need for this project. The items you don't need is a 9 volt battery, 9 volt battery clip, but you do need a Bluetooth audio amplification board. You don't need a slide switch. You do need cardboard. And you're going to need two speakers that are both 4 ohms, 10 watts. Now let's go to assemble this project and let's get started. First, I'm going to connect these two speakers to the left and right channel of this audio amplification board. And as you can see, there's a left and right channel that says positive and negative. Just simply connect the positive to positive, negative to negative on the left and right channels. Take the positive wire, connect it to the positive. Clamp it in place. And now, solder it into place. And do the exact same thing with the negative. Solder it into place. And now repeat the same process with the second speaker. Solder the positive in place. And now solder the negative in place. And there, the circuit is now complete. Now let's go ahead and test it out. Take the 9 volt battery and connect it to the 9 volt battery clip. And as you can see, 9 volts does power the circuit, but the battery does not have enough amperage, which means I cannot power these speakers because it requires more power. Next, I'm going to show you how to connect the Bluetooth signal from the circuit to your phone. Activate Bluetooth on your phone and find the signal that says X Special Audio. Tap on it. Wait for it to connect. Allow the connection. And pair. And there, your phone is now connected to the circuit. Next, I'm going to take this DC input jack and connect it to where the 9 volt battery clip is. Simply cut the wires at the appropriate length. Remove the insulation. Solder tin it. Remove the unnecessary wires. And then solder the new wires in place. Solder the negative to negative and the positive to positive. And there we go, the circuit is now complete. Next, I'm going to take this piece of cardboard, put a light amount of hot glue onto the cardboard, and then take the circuit and glue it to the cardboard. Leave enough space so that way you can be able to take the speakers and place them on the sides. Next, make a line of hot glue on the second piece of cardboard. Make sure the two parts are at a 90 degree angle. Add some more hot glue to reinforce it. Wait for it to solidify. Next, make two lines of hot glue going on both sides. And now take the speaker and glue it into place. Add some more hot glue to reinforce it. And now repeat the same process on the opposite side. Next, take some hot glue and put on the DC input jack. Glue it into place with a little bit of the edge sticking out, so that way it'll be easier to plug in. Next, take some more hot glue and put some hot glue going along the edges. And I'll take the third piece of cardboard and put it into place. Put some more hot glue on the sides to reinforce it. And finally, take a generous amount of hot glue and put it on the perimeter of this device. And take the fourth piece of cardboard and put it on top. 
And there, the project is now complete. And as you can see, this device doesn't require a slide switch. All you have to do is plug and unplug the device. Okay, so now maybe you have remembered from a previous project when I made this little power supply. You can see that this power supply here puts off four amps. Higher amperage means more power. So now, with extra power, and it's set at 10 volts, which means proof that the 9 volt battery would have been fine if it had higher amperage, this device will work better. So now, let's go ahead and test it out. If you're listening to this with headphones, be careful. This may hurt your ears. You have been advised. This is already set at maximum, so now let's go ahead and test it out. So there you have it. Now, when it was already set at full blast, I wasn't able to do this. And there you have it. The device works if you have a power supply that has higher amperage. Therefore, this device requires a higher amperage power supply, which means if you want to make it portable, you just need the correct battery that puts off a minimum of 4 amps and 12 volts. That way, you can make it portable. And there you have it. Now you know how to make a very simple Bluetooth music box that uses only a few simple parts. Thank you for watching Sci-Tai Tech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, click on the bell icon to be notified of future Sci-Tai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.